Make some noise. Anna Maria, Croatia versus Albania! Uh, so my name is Anna Maria Stoic, and even I think that Barana Macri is a Euro trash name. <laughs> it's pronounced Barana like Alana, but with herpes. <laughs> Albania is a country that nobody cares about, and Barana is a comedian that people care even less about. <laughs> Barana says she crawled out of a bunker when she was little, referring to her mother's vagina. <laughs> Barana's mother has since nicknamed it the bomb shelter because Barana was in there performing. <laughs> Albania is famous for being the one stop on a cruise ship that people choose to stay on the boat for. <laughs> Interestingly, weightlifting is the most successful sport in Albania, probably because of all the practice they've had carrying goats up mountains. <laughs> Albanians use scarecrows to ward off envy from their neighbors, when all they needed to do was just put up a sign that says, hey, we're Albania. <laughs> when Barana was younger, she wanted to get involved into politics until she learned that the Albanian government is just two old men playing chess. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> Little known fact, Mother Teresa is actually Albanian. She spent her whole life trying to save people because being from Albania, she knew what it was like to grow up in hell. <laughs> Invading Albania is like finding a half-eaten sandwich on the ground. You're like, I don't think anyone wants this. <laughs> when the Germans invaded Albania, they found no money in the national bank, no food in the stores, and not a single unmolested goat. <laughs> Albania's national pastime uh, is picking out which of their 700,000 hookers has an STD. <laughs> Trick question, it's all of them. <laughs> Barana's vagina is like a turnstile in an Albanian train station, constantly being pounded by communists. <laughs> Thanks. Anna Maria Stoic, Croatia, bring the heat. Albania will roast Croatia. All right. Hi, everybody. Okay, everyone, I know that we look very similar, okay, but I'm Albanian. And Anna Maria is actually um, half Croatian, half Serbian, which means that half of her um, nobody has ever heard of. Uh, and the other half wishes that her other half would die. <laughs> uh, so Croatia, if you guys don't know, is the place where they filmed popular TV show Game of Thrones. And the place where Anna Maria wishes that she could also fuck her brother. Uh, Croatia has the largest stone fortress system in the world, um, and it's all made up of Anna Maria's intimacy issues. Um, uh, there's actually a, uh, there's a tourist attraction in Croatia, if you ever go. It's called the Museum of Broken Relationships, and it's located in Anna Maria's bedroom. So go check that out when you're there. Um, there is a lot of caves in Croatia. Um, there was a cave actually where archaeologists recently discovered um, remains of D Neanderthals. Uh, it was very exciting. When Anna Maria's parents saw it on the news, they were just so happy to see Anna Maria finally on TV. <laughs> big day, big day. Uh, actually, during the war, a lot of Croatians hid in the caves to hide from the Serbians. So, uh, I didn't know this, but I guess Neanderthal Remains is just another name for a bunch of dead Croatians, so... Um, uh, so, if you guys didn't know... <laughs> if you guys didn't know, the Croatian War of Independence happened in 19, uh, 1995 and killed 15,000 Croatians. And you know, some people say war, what is it good for? 
Um, well, for one, getting rid of at least 15,000 Croatians. <laughs> at least. At the very least. Uh, Croatia's independence was led by a political movement called the Croatian Peasant Party, uh, which is also what you call a Croatian orgy. Um, and, uh, and also what Anna Maria calls a family reunion. Uh, there is a lot of inbreeding in Croatia, there is. Uh, but don't worry about it, Anna Maria could never do anything like that. Um, because her cousins are really not into her that way. <laughs> Just friends. Uh, Croatians have a long, long history of making lots of different kinds of home-brewed alcohols and spirits. And uh, uh, up until this point, not one of them uh, can still make you forget that you live in Croatia. Uh, Croatia is actually ranked number four uh, in alcohol consumption in the world per capita because that's what it takes to have sex with Croatian women. That's what it takes. Uh, the top three spots on their li uh, the list uh, are actually uh, Lithuania, Belarus, and the Czech Republic. So Croatia can't even be number one at being a drunk loser. So. <laughs> Uh, Croatia has one of the lowest fertility rates uh, in the world because even Croatians don't really want any more Croatians. Uh, there is actually a Croatia street in Toronto. Uh, it is located right beside the Dufferin Mall because Croatia is the Dufferin Mall of Eastern Europe. Great minds, great minds, Ireland. Great minds, thank you. Morano Macri, everybody, Albania. Roasting Croatia. Moment of truth, guys. Make some noise if you liked Albania. Make some noise if you liked Croatia. Croatia wins this one. No bloodshed. Sorry, Borana's mom. But <laughs> she's right there. She's literally right there. <laughs> Talking about her vagina. Okay. <laughs> I never feel bad about anything on this show. This I feel a little bad about. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. 